Welcome, planet Earth. My name is Steve, and you're watching Aerospace TV. We're broadcasting live from the asteroid ship, where we harness the technology to transmit 60-second educational informational programming throughout the Milky Way. We're based inside of our asteroid to hide from the Holly World villains that want to steal our technology and use it to rule galactic television. And now, let's let the galactic transmissions begin. Broadcasting live throughout the galaxy, space, and time, you're watching Aerospace TV. Asteroids are rocks floating in space. Except our asteroid, that's a spaceship and a television network. We're on the air in outer space, aerospace. On most planets, television sets pick up electromagnetic waves blasted into the air by the local TV station. Local transmissions travel only a short distance. If these waves are transmitted by a satellite, then an entire planet can receive a TV show. Here at Aerospace TV, we have the technology to broadcast throughout the galaxy. We're not counting the number of households watching our show. We're counting planets. During these transmissions, I will be transporting Steve through our starport and visit science entertainment. And then with our space camp, I will transfer my live coverage back here to Frankie for galactic broadcast. Science education is our destination. Broadcasting live throughout the galaxy, space, and time, you're watching Aerospace TV. Our galactic broadcast is limited to 60 seconds before our power amp overheats. Then thermo removes the heat, and we're back on the air. <laughs> and outer space. Let's go visit Dr. Dan Danner, our veterinarian. Lights, camera, and transport. Let's learn about hypothermia on Pet Planet. Welcome to a very cold day. Too cold for some animals to be outside. We. Some animals, like the Labrador, have a thick undercoat and do very well with a little bit of shelter. Other animals, such as the Poodle, don't have that undercoat and, and, and get very cold. Therefore, they need to be inside. If they stay outside too long, they can have something called hypo hypothermia. What is hypothermia? Hypothermia is where the body's temperature gets so low, the body can no can can longer function. Frankie, we're losing transmission. Thermal, pull the power in. Gotta go. Thanks a lot, Dr. Dan Danner. Frankie, ready for transport. Aerospace TV is searching the galaxy for stars, science entertainers of all ages and species, to prepare a 45-second video covering the subjects of, of science, engineering, mathematics, or medicine. Then these productions will be previewed for those to be selected for professional videotaping and then aired on Aerospace TV. Join us at AerospaceTV.com where we will be auditioning for a galaxy of stars. Broadcasting live throughout the galaxy, space, and time, you're watching Aerospace TV. Time Warper can transport historical humans into our space-time continuum. We're scanning planet Earth for Marie Curie, first woman to win not one, but two Nobel Prizes. A special award given to those that have helped mankind. Found the coordinates. Time Warper, transporter. Welcome, Galactic Heroes. My husband, Pierre, and I studied this radioactive rock full of energy called uranium. We are able to separate this rock into two elements. One we call the radium and the other polonium. Our work helps other scientists understand the radioactivity. You see, radioactive atoms are unstable. They have an unequal number of neutrons to protons within their nuclei. When this nucleus is split apart, energy is released. This discovery of atomic energy led Earth into a new age. The Atomic Age. Good evening. This is Walter Concrete. We're visiting with various personages, asking the question, what is it you like about the sensational new children's show, The Scientific Adventures of Dr. Theory? Uh, well, Dr. Theory is a scientist with uh, has the ability to exercise the imagination of children and, uh, and, and make learning fun. That's better. Prepare your cerebral cortex for neurosynaptic transmission into Robot Zone. Well, my friend Harvey really enjoys watching that camera, uh, uh, Cammy, I believe her name is, in her, in her transparent mode. What do you think, Bogey? Of all the planets and all the galaxies, I'm glad he surfed into mine. 
I really like what they're teaching. Here's looking at you, kids. Hi, kids! Hi, Theory! You know, Walter, if your fertile mind has an itch to learn, then space is the place. This fishing line will direct the scrawl to travel down a straight path. An imaginary axis like the X, Y, or Z axis. This straight path is known as linear travel. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Medic! A windy world is just a line. No two lines can combine. Linear travel in this world of rays is straight as an arrow. A laser maze. The scientific adventures of Dr. Theory is the fun way to learn about conceptual physics, engineering, and medicine. I emphatically agree. And having Dr. Theory is the fun way to fulfill the educational requirements of the FCC. They really know where they're going. Wrong way, Zoomer! I love Dr. Theory! <laughs> My favorite part was the intergalactic orbital studio that he plays in. It's really cool! <laughs> Conflict, challenge, suspense, excitement! Robot zone tunnels allow us to travel to all parts of the galaxy. Other solar systems in. Something's going on here. It's Dr. Lux! Dr. Lux is a space villain who has been after the orbital studio in Robot Zone for quite a long time. He wants ultimate power. Yes. He's the real hero of the show. <laughs> I've got you, Dr. Theory! <laughs> Amplifying the modulated carrier signal, and we got it. Dr. Lux, the villain, tried to prevent Earth from receiving this transmission. Thankfully, we were able to scramble up his attempts. Our quest is to make first contact with intelligent life in the broadcasting industry. Take this opportunity to have ultimate control to transmit the scientific adventures of Dr. Theory. Contact us and we'll surf a video to your coordinates. Stack. Are you ready to take a dimensional ride? Well, buckle your belts and hold on tight. With Robot Zone, surf hyperspace. 